Hey guys, what's going on? So before I start, I want to address three things. One, this is my personal opinion, not fact. So if everyone in your server is using number four instead of number one, don't get angry. Take a deep breath, calm your shaking fingers, no, no, get off caps lock. Secondly, this list won't contain timed heroes. I feel they are in a different class than the others, so they'll be on another list but it'll probably be a top three list or so, since there aren't so many at the moment. And finally, this list is for main heroes only, so rare skills won't be taken into consideration. All right, let's get started. Up at number five, we have Jackie. You can get Jackie by buying him in the Battlefield store. You can get all five shards every day, as long as you do your Crystal Valleys and Battlefields, even if you lose them. Jackie is really interesting in that his normal attack and skills go really well together. At max rage, his normal attack is much stronger and has a very long range. The cool thing is that every one of Jackie's skills instantly fills up his rage bar, so using him right and balancing skills with your normal attack can yield some very powerful combos. At number 4 we have Claudius. You can basically get Claudius everywhere. No, but seriously, the main places you will get him are World Boss and Fortune Frenzy. Make sure to do that stuff daily and preferably during double rewards for Fortune Frenzy, and you'll have him high tier in no time. To be perfectly honest, I don't have much practice with Claudius, but I've seen his potential in PvP with his ability to reflect damage. If you can time it right, you can have the enemy dealing more damage to itself than you can. His taunt ability is extremely annoying as well, being on the opposite end of it many times. At number 3 we have Striker. He is a bit harder to tear up in the long term due to his inconsistent availability. You will get 70 shards instantly by inviting a Facebook friend 205 times. Just make sure it's someone you wouldn't mind hating you. The next place you can get him is do a lot to luck, and that's treasure hunt. A few times I've gotten 10 striker shards for a measly 10 fortitude, but then again I've been on many treasure hunts, and it usually ends up something like this. You need a lot of skill to use Strikerite, which is <coughs> one of the main reasons I don't use him. He has practically no area of effect attacks, but his target focused attacks are very powerful. His first two skills inflict the target with something called Plague, and his final skill deals extra damage depending on the amount of plague you were able to inflict. If you use Striker as a main hero, keep this in mind. The last two on this list I have a lot of experience with, and the ones I used the most so far. Number 2 has to be Boric. He'll be one of the slowest heroes to tier up since you can only get 3 shards per day, and that's only if you can do decently well in PvP. I've once gotten 50 Boric shards instantly from a rare boss drop, but even getting the tag on a rare boss is so rare for most players it's almost not worth mentioning. I really did like Boric for the time I used him. His skills are really strong and his first one stuns the target when hit, and even if you miss you recover HP. That's kinda awesome. I was never a huge fan of his second skill unless the enemy was parry broken or I was in Boric Rage mode, since it's so easy to run away from. But I think what really makes him awesome is the Boric Rage mode itself. The instant damage after hitting the skill is enormous. Just make sure you're close to the target before going into Rage mode, and then you're basically a double transformed Hulk for 10 seconds after that. Alright, so now we're moving on to number one. If you want, comment down below your prediction. I'll give you five seconds. Fans of my video probably already know this, and yes, it's Panda. Nah, I'm kidding, it's Kasa, of course. I believe I used Kasa for even longer than I used Boric. Main reason for the switch? My Boric was getting spanked by Kasas. Live, learn, adapt, survive, guys. It's not like this is a game or anything. Anyway, Kasa is fairly easy to get, 5 shards daily from the Team Instant store. Also like Boric, up to 50 shards can drop from rare bosses. Fighting her can be extremely annoying for a melee class if the Kasa knows how to kite, which to be honest isn't too hard. Her second skill makes it easy to escape and deal a significant amount of damage, while her first skill has a very long range. Her third skill has a very big area of effect and is insanely powerful. So there it is, the top 5 main heroes in Taichi Panda Heroes, in my opinion. In. My. Opinion. Chill. Do you agree? Disagree? If so, leave it down in the comments below what your top 5 are. Again, this list does not include timed heroes. I'll save that for another day. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If so, drop a like, and if you found it really helpful, give it a share. Thanks as always for watching, and until next time.